For foreign spouses facing domestic abuse, taking legal action is challenging because losing the case could result in deportation. We are often reluctant to report such instances. Tina highlighted the dilemma of foreign spouses when recounting her story. She had long endured an abusive environment, only seeking assistance when her child also suffered from abuse. Seeing the plight of abused mothers, the Garden of Hope Foundation launched a workshop six months ago. This initiative offers them jobs to help them steadily get back on their feet. We discovered that when they leave an abusive environment, they often face poverty. Therefore, we provide housing and employment services. When they have resources, their resilience is genuinely remarkable. According to the Ministry of Health and Welfare, reported domestic violence cases in the past three years range from 140,000 to over 160,000, with an annual increase of 5% to 7%. In 2022, more than 150,000 cases were reported, averaging one every three minutes. Intimate partner violence, including marital and cohabitation violence, accounted for 48% of these cases. The foundation states that most victims endure violence for 10 to 15 years before seeking help, often due to concern for their children. Besides providing safety assistance for victims, the foundation offers counseling for perpetrators of domestic abuse. Some abusive situations can gradually improve through efforts to repair relationships. We also strongly encourage their husbands, their children's fathers, to come here to see them. We organize parent-child activities, providing opportunities to repair their relationships with their fathers. Providing support and resources to domestic abuse victims empowers them to speak out bravely, breaking the harmful cycle and restoring hope in their lives. Liu Lijun, Yu Xinghan, Huang Zhihou, TVBS World, Taiwan.